Bees are more intelligent than flies. Bees help flowers and trees grow and reproduce, and gift us honey. On the contrary, flies inhabit rotten places and carry with them harmful germs. So, humans tend to consider bees as more beneficial than flies. From a human's perspective, bees seem superior to flies. But a study found that when being faced with an existential threat, flies fared better than bees in overcoming crises. How is this possible? One morning, a rather large carpenter bee flew into a bathroom. The bee flew in through a slightly open vent and got lost, frantically looking for a way out. The bathroom window was separated into an upper and lower section, with the lower part fixed shut to let light in, and the part above could be opened for ventilation. Between them was a window frame. The upper window was opened a bit more to allow for the bee to get out. However, the bee could not escape and kept bumping into the wider, brighter lower part of the window. It would have found its escape had it climbed just a few more centimeters, but it seemed helpless. To reach the upper part of the window, it had to pass over the frame where light didn't pass through, but the bee didn't even make an attempt to go over the frame to get to the vent. Finally, the bee became exhausted and stopped, laying still at the bottom of the window. It could have gotten away had it climbed a mere few centimeters. Why couldn't this bee escape? It's because the bee had what's called self-limitation. A zoologist conducted a comparative experiment by placing three bees and three flies in a bottle and placed it in a dark room. Then, a flashlight was placed underneath the jar with the lid open. The bees rushed to the bottom where the light was. Because bees have learned that where there is light, there is an exit, since they always exit a dark hive and harvest pollen in bright daylight. In the end, bees could not do anything in the light and starved to death. But the flies, indifferent to where the light was, wandered around the bottle and all three escaped within two minutes. It was the flies adapting to being challenged to survive in harsh environments and extreme conditions that made their escape possible. America's global entrepreneur and also self-help enterprise guru, Paul Meyer, talks about overcoming self-limitations to seek resolution using circus elephants as an anecdote. Circus elephants, despite their enormous size, obey and heat humans who are comparatively puny in size. What's more striking is that though they're cuffed in comparatively thin chains when not performing, they remain calm and don't run away. Considering that elephants can easily uproot large trees, it's hard to understand why they don't simply break free from their shackles. It's because elephants are chained from a very young age. Baby elephants have difficulty breaking free from their shackles, try as they might. They've ingrained within them that chains cannot be broken and carry this belief into adulthood. They certainly have the strength to break free from their chains as adults, but so long as that idea of impossibility remains within them, they won't even make an attempt. The same applies to us humans. If you hold on to self-imposed limitations that may have risen from past mistakes, it'll be difficult to make the right decisions going forward. Even trying could feel impossible. The same then applies to network marketing and its prejudices. When a new marketing technique called direct sales was introduced to Korea from the US, several dishonest distributors used this to take advantage of consumers, causing massive damage. But as of today, the Korean government introduced new legislation and regulations to prevent such deceitful practices from ever occurring again. And currently, the network marketing industry is considered with high esteem with regards to economic benefit and creating new jobs. 
The bright side isn't the only path. Searching for bright places, much like the honeybee, can end up being an unescapable prison. And you could very much end up like the elephant tied up in chains if you are imprisoned within self-limitation. Once you break free from self-limitations, countless opportunities will come your way. Now is the time to stop blaming the recession and to have the courage to accept challenges.